Well, hi there. My name is Pam, and this here is Turkey. He's my golfing cockatoo. Hi, buddy. Want to say hi? Yes. And so my topic today that I want to talk about is one of the things that I regret the most when I got him. When I got Turkey, he was 10 years old, and I was his third owner. And he had a lot of behavior problems. Um, he had been in a bird consignment store for quite some time. And um, I brought him home and he was a screamer right from the beginning at night. And there is a bird trainer, Chris Davis. Um, she was a very famous, popular bird trainer. So I had her to my house and um, he would scream at night. And one of the things that he didn't like was, I'm getting kind of off topic here, sorry, was the light on at night. He liked it completely dark. But one of the major things when you get a bird, people, they get a pet and they just want to spend all their time with them, is only give them the attention that you're going to give them like forever. Because when you shower them with affection and give them all this attention and time out, they're gonna expect it all the time. And so I wore him all the time and that's one thing trainers tell you to do all the time, not to put your bird on your shoulder because uh, the hierarchy, they're above you, but I do that. And so I do know that that's wrong, but he wants my attention all the time. And he is absolutely relentless and he wants to be with me the minute I walk in the door till I go to bed. Now I've gotten him to where he'll go to bed like at seven or eight o'clock, I'll put him to bed and he's pretty good. But he wants to be on me constantly. He has to be out of his cage and I could let him be in his cage with toys and whatnot and he will just scream nonstop. And I've tried to break the habit and with him, I just can't, he, he's a, one thing, he is an old, old bird and he's pretty set in his ways and I've had him for years and years. And so he's used to me just wearing him all the time. But sometimes, you know, I, I don't want to hold him. I have little dogs and he's really mean to the dogs. He does not like dogs, little dogs. He's very jealous. And uh, my husband used to hold on, but he's too mean now. But I just want to stress, have lots of toys in your cage and give them time out. Just make a certain time period that's their time for you to hold them. Because they're going to expect it all the time. And what else can I say about that? Um, just make make a schedule up and try and stick to it. I know that cockatoos are more, they call them Velcro birds, uh, may not be true with every bird, but typically cockatoos, they call them Velcro birds because they want to be with you all the time. Right, Betty? All the time. And so they like a lot of attention. Their mind is not independent at all and I give him toys and he just tries to dismantle them but he's never been like a toy bird that just likes to play with their toys he just destructs them don't you buddy yeah but that is one of the main things I want to tell you when you get a new bird give them the attention that they're gonna get all the time because whatever you give them that's what they're gonna expect and your bird is going to be noisy and loud. Like this weekend was my weekend off. And I did get to sleep in until like six. But he starts hollering like nonstop in the morning until I get up. I could say, shut up. And you won't shut up, huh, when I tell you to shut up. He doesn't. He'll just keep on going until I get up. So birds, man. They really, really change your life a lot. So there is a lot to think about when you get a bird. And as always, I advocate that these are 
wild animals. Um, I personally do not believe that they should be pets in a household. They're losing out on their mates. They're foraging for food. He picks his feathers, you know, they get bored. They're missing out on mates. They're missing out on flying, their exercise. They're missing out on a lot. So I never realized this until I got him. I thought birds really had it made. They didn't have to forage for their food. And that was before I got him before it was so well known, like foraging toys and all that came out. It, um, I just thought he'd be on an easy street. And I wanted a pet that lived forever. You know, you get a dog and dogs have a very short lifespan compared to him. He's lived through a pit bull I had for 17 years, one for 10 years. Um, two of my chihuahuas, one of them was 15. And I mean, he's lived through a lot of dogs. So this is a pet. Like if you're not a dog person or a cat person and you want a pet that's gonna live for a long time, this is it. But get your bird from a rescue. Someone, a bird that's already in captivity because it's so sad to see more and more of these birds coming into captivity. And try and give them the best life that you can. Because there's, um, people get these birds and they're rehomed over and over and over. So, I mean, like I said, he's had different homes. He's lost his homes. I only know about one of the homes and they had small dogs. And that's why he lost his home. And, they had two cockatoos. I never did see the other one, but um, her name was Tammy and it was Tammy and Turkey. And so, uh, but I think that they were not real bonded. The other one was not a goffin. I'm not, I forgot what kind of cockatoo, but it wasn't the same cockatoo. So anyway, that's just one of the things um, I wanted to bring to your attention. And as always, Put your comments below. I'm always happy to answer any questions. And um, I really don't think these birds should be in captivity. They should be free to fly and in the wild and have a mate and just do their thing instead of being stuck in a cage all the time. It's not right, huh, Turkey? Yes, it's not right, huh? Wanna shake? Wanna shake? I didn't teach him all these tricks. I think he knew a few more before I got him. Whoever had him before taught, they potty trained him. He he will go to go potty on paper and he seldom potties on me. Um, if he's squawking on me, I know he has to go to his cage and go potty. But uh, someone spent a lot of time with this bird and taught him tricks and potty trained him and then they rehomed him. They had enough of him, so. I mean, I love him to death, but I mean, he's a big pain in the ass to have. Right, Turkey? You're a big pain in the ass, huh? Yeah. So anyway, thanks for watching and I hope you'll subscribe and uh, hit the like button and I hope to see you back again. So thanks for watching. Get up, buddy. Up, up, up. His name's Turkey, but I call him buddy usually. See you later.